I am Dr. Enam Aboud. I am the founder and the head doctor of Harley Street Health Center. And I have been seeing over and over again many patients who complain of tiredness, fatigue, very difficult to wake up in the morning and keep going. And I would like very much to explain a few reasons, some reasons of why uh, some people are feeling so tired and fatigued to the extent that is affecting their daily life. In view of the unfortunate pandemic that we have been living through and unfortunately it hasn't finished yet, um, virus infection, um, any type of viral infection indeed, doesn't have to be COVID, can create tiredness. Because when a virus enters our body, a human body, it can inflict a variety of changes within our cells. Our immune system will be challenged, our gut health will be challenged, our brain cells will be challenged, and that can create chronic fatigue. And the commonest viruses currently is the COVID virus, and this is one of the common symptoms of uh, chronic fatigue and long COVID. So it is the commonest presentation symptom of long COVID. The other virus, which is perhaps not very well known to even doctors, colleagues, and people, patients in general, is the glandular fever virus. Well, in this country, in the UK, it's called the glandular fever. In the US, it's called mono or mononucleosis. Uh, in Europe, it is called mononucleosis. And the reason why it's called mononucleosis, because one type of a blood cell, which is the monocyte, increases in number when we are infected by this virus. The uh, causative agent, or the real name of the virus, is Epstein-Barr virus, or EBV for short. And this virus infects us as the COVID does, as the flu does, through breathing it uh, from some other person. Um, many, many years ago, it used to be called kissing disease because it was very common in teenagers. But it can happen to anybody, any age, uh, children, old people alike. Children usually, teenagers, shake it off very quickly. But when we are older, it might actually stick with us. Now, why is this virus important? Because it is a dormant virus. Now, what does that mean? When we are infected by it, it doesn't go. It just stays. It's just like when we have a cold sore uh, on the lip or people who have genital herpes. These are dormant viruses. They infect, we feel better, but they stay put. They are inside our cells. And we can get on with our life not knowing we have it simply by protecting ourselves and having a very strong immune system then it's not going to bother us. But if we are feeling low, not eating well, not sleeping well, being stressed, the virus will be reactivated and can continue to give us symptoms, particularly tiredness. And I've been finding throughout the years of my experience that a good number of people who've been diagnosed with a chronic fatigue syndrome actually are carriers of this virus. So let me tell you more about this really intriguing subject, tiredness and chronic fatigue. Some medical conditions, which perhaps many of us don't know that we have until very late, the thyroid. The thyroid gland, it's a, it's a unique gland. Uh, all of us have it. It's in the front of the neck, uh, just here. And normally we shouldn't see it and we can't even, we're not able to feel it. But if this thyroid doesn't give us enough hormone, which is called the thyroxine, what the commonest cause is tiredness. But also we could have a dry skin, dry hair, hair could be falling, nails could be breaking, we feel low mood, we can get constipated, uh, might feel cold more than anybody else. So these are symptoms of underactive thyroid, as we call it in medicine, hypothyroidism. 
um, part of it or some types of this underactive thyroid runs in families. So if you're feeling tired, yet you know that your mother, father, sisters, uncles, aunts, anybody in the family with a thyroid problem, it really is worth your while checking. And do you know something? It's a simple blood test that will tell you whether you have underactive thyroid. And the treatment is extremely simple. A simple tablet to take every single day, monitored by your doctor. That's all it takes for you, for anybody to really get better if the case is underactive thyroid.